Hi everyone, it's Jessica, and welcome back for another plan with me. So, this is how this past week turned out. I'm filming on Saturday, so Sunday is not really filled out, but <clears throat> it's just going to be stuff on a to-do list anyway. Why is there adhesive on this sticker? Go away. Alright, but this was the April Monthly Colors from Oh Hello Stationery Co., and I love how this turned out. I love mixing it up sometimes, and I think uh, this kit was the perfect opportunity to do that. We're also going to be sticking with Oh Hello this week, so I'm, you know, very happy with that. Um, I'm going to be doing a more traditional no white space week this week. Um, I have the Under the Sea kit, which I think is going to look great, no white space, so that's why I'm choosing to do it that way. Um, I have this on their glossy paper. Last week I used their matte paper. I like both their papers. I can't make up my mind, but I'm really looking forward to putting this scene in my planner. In fact, let me show you how I used um, the full boxes from this kit last year, because I only used the full boxes. I didn't actually do the whole um, kit, and I just loved it so much I had to use the whole kit. So this is how it looked last year in my 2016 planner, and like I liked it. I used up some leftover stickers, but I figured I wanted to do the whole kit. So that's what I'm doing this week. I'm very happy about it. And so let's just get started. I already flipped through the kit. I'm going to start by putting my to-do headers and heart checklists down. I'm just going to go right across the page, just kind of go where this kit guides me to go. And it's kind of easier that way. Once you figure out how to do a no white space week, you can kind of just go on autopilot, honestly. Um, sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. Um, this week I'm in the mood for that, so that is what I'm going to do. Decided to turn my planner on its side because sometimes that just makes this a lot easier. I know sometimes when people film plan with me's with their planners flipped every which way, people are like, oh, it's so annoying, but I'm never annoyed by it, so I'm not afraid to do it in my own videos. So what are all of y'all's thoughts on the new Erin Condren Life Planners? I'm super happy with what the vertical colorful is going to look like. Um, I think this year, this one right here has been my favorite layout. The colors I love, I love the watercolor, I'm obsessed with watercolor. Um, that's probably why I love this kit so much is because it's watercolor. But um, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm even tempted by the hard, the new hardbound life planners. I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, the only thing is, like, there's only... For the outside color, you're kind of stuck with whatever layout is inside it. Like, you can't mix and match it, from what I can tell. So, that's the only thing. Like, the black cover hardbound life planner, I think that's the large one, and I don't really want the large one. If I'm going to get one of... The hardbound life planners, it's be going to be for work, so I would like the smaller one. And I think the smaller ones only come in like blue and pink, which isn't really something I want to take to work with me. Um, so I haven't made up my mind yet about the hardbound life planner. I wish she would do like a mini vertical. That would be my dream. I just want a mini coiled or hardbound, I'm not really sure. Probably coiled so I can like flip it in half, because with the hardbound, you can't flip it in half. And I love flipping my planner in half. But, yeah, I would like, like, a mini life planner in the vertical style. Because the thing is, like, the vertical style is what makes Erin Condren Erin Condren. Like, obviously she comes out with the other styles in order to, you know, broaden her audience. But at the end of the day, like, she started with this style. And that's the one style it's really hard to get anywhere else unless you buy like so much crafting inserts or what else glam planner came out with inserts those are really pretty but like they're also a little more money than I would like to spend and then on top of that I would have to buy a 
binder to put them in. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on the new life planners. Um, I also, I mean, I wouldn't buy the new neutral, but I think it's really pretty. And I think it's what a lot of people have been asking for. I know some people are really happy with how the neutral currently is set up, but there are also people who have been, you know, requesting a very plain life planner. So, yeah, I mean, obviously some people are going to be happy with what's new and some people are not going to be, but anyway, my thoughts, I know for sure I'm definitely going to get a colorful vertical life planner. That's the only thing I'm certain of at this point. This is looking super pretty. I'm so happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my washi strips along the bottom and either... I can't decide which washi I want to use. These are both from Michaels. It was from that watercolor pack from last year. And I can't decide which one I want to use. Like, do I want to bring in more green or do I want... I feel like this one matches better. So I'm going to put this down with these washi strips. So that means it is time to put down these labels and wow, I actually, <laughs> these actually work with the um, heart checklist that I put down, which is interesting when that actually happens because sometimes with these kits, I'll put down my heart checklist and then be like, oh, they don't match up with the, uh, Sorry, lost my train of thought. They don't match up with the labels. Actually, they don't, but I could easily switch these. I'm going to switch them. Not that it really, like, makes a whole lot of difference in my life, but, like, it makes me happy in the smallest way. And I can use happy wherever I can take it from, so, you know. Also, if you're interested in my life at all <laughs> and have been watching like my vlogs and all the other videos where I sounded like I was dying, um, I'm finally over my cold. It took me three weeks. I know that's a long cold and like the whole time I'm like, am I ever going to get better? Am I just going to die? Which like is like horrible, but you know, I'm a little bit of an anxious person, so these are the thoughts I have. But, um, yeah, I was really sick. And then, like, this past week, like, in the middle of the week, my sore throat came back. I think it was just from, it must have just been from, like, coughing and everything. Because I didn't end up getting, like, fully sick again. It's just for, like, at the end of the day, my throat would be really sore. And I would get scared that, like, I had strep throat or a sinus infection or something was going on that was not okay. And, but everything was fine. And I'm fine now. I still have a little bit of mucus and stuff that I'm coughing out, but I'm fine now. So I didn't totally need to freak out. I was just sick for three weeks and it was terrible. I don't recommend it, but hopefully my immune system is much better now. Okay, after that ramble, I'm going to go ahead and put down uh, another row of labels that match for like little odds and ends cleaning things and stuff and I will be right back. Okay, I've removed all my post-its so I can put down some washi strips and how I do... Wow, I caught myself this time. I caught myself! So I totally forgot, once again, as always, um, to put down my odds and ends headers so I need to do that first. I didn't use these at all last week and part of that was because I was doing a white space style spread but um, there have been weeks where I just completely forget about these headers and like they're not necessary, of course, but they also, when am I going to use them again, really? So I might as well use them. So I will put these down and then I will explain how I use washi. Okie doke, disaster averted. Not that it really would have been a disaster, but hey, I like to use my stickers and when I forget to use them, you know, it's sad because I have them and, you know. I have to use them, right? So what I'm doing, besides being melodramatic, is putting down the four skinniest pieces of washi for the image that's way over here, because I don't want the same image on the same day repeating itself. Sometimes I 
am okay with that. But for this one, I kind of want to mix it all up. So I have the four small pieces of washi there. On the next day, what I'll do is do like the two medium sized pieces. So as you can see, there's like four little slivers, there's two medium slivers, and then there's one bigger sliver. And I'm just going to go along and do all of these. And then I will be back to put down half boxes. I'm not normally this excited about washi strips in my planner, but I don't know. I think it looks really cool. So yeah, I think it looks really cool. And then that means now I'm going to put in my half boxes. And these I'll just write in. I don't know. It's a really light week. Um, I don't have plans this weekend that I'm filming. And I... Um, don't have plans this weekend either. I'm kind of taking some time off <laughs> of, not from work, because I've, you know, all my vacation, it was used up when I went to LA. That's crooked, but there, that's no, there's no way I'm taking it up. Um, but I'm taking some time off of like being on the go on the weekends. Um, I volunteer every weekend, but, um, like, March and April were just constantly, like, go, go, go. Like, because of, like, I went to L.A., and then I went to PlannerCon in San Francisco. Um, and then, like, I was visiting my family, obviously, because they live pretty close by, so I like to see them when I can. And, um, oh, I screwed up. Whatever, I'll just repeat the pattern instead of mirroring it. But, um, anyway, and then I went back to LA and then of course last weekend was Easter I know I said I don't like to pull these up but this one is way too crooked for me to ignore ooh yeah that's awful um I did that one really poorly oh well um, 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 um what was I going to sure anyway I've just been I haven't been home a lot and which is nice because like I've been seeing people, it's been great, but um, I also just need some time to chill. I need some time to like clean up my house. <laughs> okay, I always put these too far over this way and so then like the border and the header shows, but that's okay, we will move on. I had to clear off my memory card and now we're back. If you don't know, I use this camera both for my job and for my YouTube channel and for my personal life. So <clears throat> my memory cards are always full. So now we can get into planning day by day. I'm talking really weird, sorry. Um, so Mondays I like to do laundry. I didn't do it this week because uh, I ran out of laundry detergent, but um, I fixed that, so either I'm going to do laundry today and have some of it spill over onto Monday, or I'm just going to do it all Monday. I'm not sure yet, but on this sheet, which I will put into the frame now so you can actually see it, um, there is a washing machine, so I'm just going to cover up the television that way. Um, Tuesday I have a meeting, but I just put that on my to-do list. Um, and on the half box, I'm going to take one of these cameras from Fox and Cactus because it looks exactly like my camera. So we're gonna put that down there. And I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but um, figure out, figure that out later. Wednesday, I want to clean the bathroom. And I could just leave that, oh, and the trash needs to go out on Tuesday night. Need to mark that, so we'll go back to this page. I've noticed the glossy paper, um, like the stickers don't always want to separate from the page, whereas with the matte paper, they'll usually come right off. So that's one thing, is that it's easier to use the stickers when they're on matte, but I also love glossy for certain colors because I feel like it makes it more vibrant. Although, I, like, Ohlo's matte paper, like, the colors are pretty much just as vibrant, so I don't know. I'm, I keep going back and forth. Okay. Back to Wednesday. I want to clean the bathroom. What can I use to mark that? Let's do a blue house. I live in a single story house. Come on house, you want to come off the sheet? You know you do. Um, someone I met at 
planner con Nikki her channel is Nikki's planet I don't know what it is about how she takes stickers off the page I don't know it's like this really bizarre weird thing that you notice when you're staring at people's hands for an entire video I don't know this is probably gonna sound really weird and if she's watching this I'll probably be a little embarrassed but like the way she takes stickers off the page like really like calms me I don't know that probably sounds really bizarre and creepy but it's the truth so now you know um, I'm putting a camera sticker on Thursday as well because I'm going to upload some sort of video I don't know what I'm actually uploading and then I actually if you notice which you might have might not have I switched out the TV little thing that I had here and put in the heart because this will be three weeks until my boyfriend visits it's I'm really starting to get wary, weary, not wary. Weary and wary are two separate words, by the way, and people interchange them all the time, and it drives me nuts. But whatever. Um, I'm getting kind of weary of being in a long-distance relationship, so I'm like trying to fix. Wow, it. that was a tangent. Okay, Friday. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna do whatever I do. Obviously, I have stuff going on at work, but I just write it down. Daily, I, I write my to-do lists each day instead of trying to plan everything out at the beginning of the week because I have the type of job where you will plan out a day and then you walk in the office and you might do what you plan to do that day or you will do something totally different that just came up at the last minute. So that's my job. Okay, Saturday morning we're going to be where? At the animal shelter. So can I use an appointment? label for this. No, the cat won't fit over there. Can I use a build too? Maybe. I just don't always like to use the same labels and like I never use the build do's, I never use the appointment labels. So like I'm trying to incorporate them more. So I think I'll take the purple one. We'll see how this works. Oop, if it wants to come off the page. Come on. Woo! That was a scary sound. But we're okay. It's okay. Jessica really needs to chill out. Okay. <clears throat> so, from Fox and Cactus, basically most of my spreads, like, everything is either Fox and Cactus or Oh Hello Stationery. That's pretty much my whole collection. So, we're going to try this out. Oop, this one is... Okay, well, that's just going to go there. Do, do, do. I don't think I've used a Siamese cat yet. I'm like, occasionally we have Siamese cats. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I might, just put, I might put two cats. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. I might have just made a really bad mistake. I probably should have just used a regular label. I don't know why I try to be ambitious. <coughs> Do I have any bills due on Saturday? Can I like fudge this? Okay, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> and then we're never going to do that ever again. So that's for my volunteer shift. <laughs> Try to be creative and fate just slaps you down. Okay, what else? All of that will go on my to-do list. Okay, so let's do the weekend banner. This is a pretty boring week, um, but that's fine. But this is how I set up my planner when I just don't really have like social plans or travel or anything. I'm totally ripping this weekend banner. Yeah, you know, I really should just stick with uh, the mat because I don't have this problem with the mat. I love glossy though. I love how it looks. Although sometimes I don't. Like I feel like it crinkles up and then it annoys me. Since I have nothing going on, we can put the weekend banner in the actual spread this week. Instead of, a lot of times I'll put it down here. I never get these centered, but I'm imperfect. I am a human being. Let me just repeat that. that blah, 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 blah. Let me just repeat that to myself 15 more times. And then I'm going to take a planner from, guess what? Uh, Fox and Cactus. <laughs> I like stuttered for a moment. Sometimes in these videos, like I just like slowly lose my mind. Okay, cool. I'm going to go breathe for a moment, and then we will do the sidebar. All right, sidebar time. So instead of covering up the thankful thought, I have been actually 
Well, I used it last week. I don't always use it. Well, I used it that week. Didn't use it that week. Because I had plenty of space to write thankful thoughts throughout. Um, didn't use it that week. But I do like to use it. I don't totally fill up my sidebar. So I think I, I'll just do this style again. I didn't really use my habit trackers this week. I mean, it's Saturday afternoon, so there's still hope for me. But, um... Uh, so I could cross off like two days, but um, I'm going to, if this sticker will come off the page, come on, um, I guess I'll do two this week. Yeah, why not? I do need to get back into flossing. My excuse was, oh, I'm sick, but I'm not sick anymore, so I can floss. Whoops. Yeah, I might just, I just ordered a bunch of kits on Glossy that I hauled last week, you saw. But um, I, I, I think I'm going to stick with the mat, because either I'm a horrible sticker puller upper, or Glossy just doesn't like to behave. I don't know. I think it's glossy doesn't want to behave. I'm not going to put that blame on myself. So I did two habit trackers. I did a next week section and then the full box. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll just stick with that setup. That makes sense to me. So next week, because <clears throat> then that way the full box isn't like too close to these. So there's the next week. And then I put the last heart checklist. And that better not be my roommate. Good, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like always on edge. Like, are my roommates on? I don't know. Are they gonna think I'm weird for talking to myself? Probably. <laughs> and then do I wanna put this right below? No, I'll put it. Here at the bottom. <clears throat> yeah. I don't do no white space in my sidebar unless I'm like being really weird. Is that crooked? That's crooked. Is it gonna come up? Maybe not. Whoa, that one come up. That one came up a lot nicer than it normally would. It is picnic day today here, which is at the local university, so that's another reason I'm just staying home. I went last year, my one and only time, and um, I think that's enough. I think I'm good. I enjoyed the like marching band competition, and what else did I enjoy? Probably, oh, they have us like... Bring your dots in and race it, which is a little odd, but it's hilarious to watch. Do I want that there? No. Is it going to have to be there now? Because I... S yeah, I'm going to have to do this now. I'm going to have to commit to it because I ruined my sticker. I think I just put it down in the same spot. Anyway, okay, that's my sidebar. My... Not very well put together sidebar, but it's a sidebar. So now I'm going to take the decorative sheet and pull in some of the smaller pieces. And like the art that's not in the full boxes. So we have like this jellyfish. Come on. That's all I'm going to do for now. Um, like I said, I fill out my to-do list daily, and because this is not a busy week at all, I'll fill in pretty much everything day by day. But let me flip through 
what I've got left of the kit. I have a bunch of decoration left, a couple of labels and headers. Always have a ton of this page left over, which is tr why I tried to use um, some different things for different parts of this spread instead of these labels uh, and half boxes. So I have some of these left over. I have one to-do header, one odds and ends header, and a couple pieces of washi and the dots, the teardrops, and a today header. So if you don't know, I am on Instagram and this past Sunday, so the 23rd, I'm going to try to start doing this thing where since you can post multiple, multiple photos to Instagram now, I'm going to do like a before and after. So take a photo of what the spread looks like right now after I film this and then on the Sunday after the week is complete. So this one will be posted on April 30th, um, post what it actually ended up looking like. And I am trying to be better about posting midweek spreads and uh, the second half of the week as well. So I'm, I'm trying to up my Instagram game trying to make my photos better and way more frequent. So go ahead and follow me there if you love Instagram like I do. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video on Thursday. Bye!